Hello, my friends. These are the announcements for the Church of the Nativity for July 5th. Uh, I hope everyone is well. Uh, we are, um, if you were wondering about regathering, when we can regather as a community of faith and worship together, just uh, I want to let you know that that is being discussed and, and plans are being made. We do not have a date uh, for that regathering at this time. It depends on the virus and the virus is in control of our schedule now. Uh, so please know that the vestry and a regathering committee are meeting and talking about uh, what we would need to do if we, uh, when we come together again. And please know that um, there are some protocols that will be in place when we do gather. It unfortunately is not going to be um, exactly the same as it was, as much as we would like. But we can at some point um, get together and worship, uh, but we will have no communion, no singing, um, no passing of peace, no hugs and handshakes. We'll be wearing masks and using hand sanitizers, but you know that's gonna be okay. That's gonna be okay, it's well worth it to be together again. Um, so that is some uh, time in the near future, hopefully, it just depends in the next couple of weeks how the um, COVID hospitalization and death spikes go. So we don't want to go back too soon and so we're being very careful to safeguard everyone's health. Um, Sunday worship will continue to be posted on Facebook and YouTube on Sundays at 10. We pre-record these on Zoom at 9 a.m. on Sundays. Everyone is invited to be part of that. Um, and I do enjoy seeing your face and hearing your voices. Uh, so please look at your newsletter and there is a link to that Zoom meeting. Um, coffee hour, we have Zoom coffee hour at 11 o'clock on Sundays as well. Um, again, the link is in your newsletter. Um, it's a time for you to just chat with people you haven't seen for a while, catch up on what's been going on. For the children, we have Compassion Camp, which is an online vacation Bible school. Um, it is, um, it's fun. It's fun, there's music and art and, and all the good stuff. It's uh, at two, Tuesdays at 4.30 uh, Eastern, 3.30 Central. See, you don't even have to be close to take part. My grandson in Arkansas is taking part. Um, but it's not hard for the parents, grandparents, just click on the Zoom meeting and then we will um, work with the kids. Just make sure they have their, their crayons and their coloring sheets and we'll be good. Uh, for the adults and young adults coming up on Wednesday, starting on Wednesday, July 15th at 6 p.m., we're going to start doing an online uh, course called Make Me an Instrument of Your Peace Online Civil Discourse Curriculum. Uh, that's starting July 15th. Um, we did a, a civil discourse curriculum um, a couple of years ago. Uh, so this is a new one and it's got some additions and um, I think it's a good time for us to do that. Uh, food donations. Remember that we are collecting food at the church in, in, in the art the covered walkway between the buildings, whatever you call that. Um, there's a, a container to put in food. So if you can bring some food by, please know that we pick it up and take it to a food pantry. And it's one way that we can help our neighbors who are having um, food insecurity um, because of, you know, because of the economy right now. Um, the rector's book, recommendations right now is the book that I am just about done reading called White Fragility, Why It's So Hard for White People to Talk About Race. I recommend this. It's an excellent book. Um, I recommend it for my brothers and sisters who are white and those who are people of color. It is a conversation that is way overdue. I think um, it would help us to be all on the same page when we talk about uh, issues of race in this country. Uh, the conversations, like I said, are long overdue, and um, so I uh, commend that to you. Uh, you may not be aware of the diocesan offerings. Um, 
they just finished a three-part webinar at the Absalon Jones Episcopal Center for Racial Healing. It was a webinar called Reimagining Policing. Uh, I took part in that and it was an excellent discussion. So I recommend it to you. Uh, it's been recorded, so I will provide the links uh, so you can go and watch it yourself. The National Church in conjunction with the Lutheran Church is offering advocacy tools for loving your neighbor. That's on July 9th from 12.30 to 2. It's a webinar as well, and uh, I recommend that for you. I will post that link on your newsletter. Um, there are lots of ways you can stay involved in what's going on um, in our country right now. Uh, supporting people uh, who are having financial problems, um, supporting people who are working in hospitals and taking care of COVID patients and, and being part of the conversation about race in this country it is a conversation that we all need to have the courage to, to engage in. It's, it's important, we need to do that. Um, there are some Episcopal um, organizations that can help you uh, um, learn more about what's going on. The Episcopal Public Policy Network um, is um, is very helpful, um, and the Episcopal, um, yes, um, not the public relations, the, the Episcopal Public Policy Network, that's a good place to start. So with that, I, I'm, I'm encouraging you as strongly as I can to read your weekly news sheet that comes out on your email. Um, I send it every week and it has all the links you need to the, the worship services, the coffee hour, the bulletin, the, the hymn, the children's bulletin and coloring pages, um, links to education, uh, links to um, a donation site where you can pay your pledge online. Um, we are connected to the diocesan payment system so it's safe and secure and you can make your your pledge payment or extra donation online. Uh, so those are all in your newsletter. It comes out every week and I encourage you to read it. Read it and click on, uh, see what's on there. Um, so with that, those are the announcements for July 5th. And um, so go in peace, take care of yourself. I hope to see you again face-to-face uh, -face one of these days soon. And please, I cannot implore you strongly enough that you must wear your mask when you're out. Um, this COVID is out of control now. We're having 50,000 new cases and more than 50,000 um, per day. And, um, and it's, it's a nasty virus. Wear your mask, do it as a sign of neighborliness and loving your neighbor. Wear it for yourself, wear it for the people you're around. Um, keep your distance, wash your hands, and all of that as well. So that is the announcements. Those are the announcements for July 5th. I hope to see you again soon, face-to-face uh, -face one day. But until then, we are connected in this glorious um, age we live in. We are can stay connected. So please know that I pray for you. And uh, if you haven't heard from me uh, with a phone call, you will. And so I'll see you soon and talk to you soon.